I actually love revision um, because it's it's the creating from scratch that's really a challenge to me. As I think, um, uh, who's the playwright who wrote uh, Angels in America? Help me out here. Tony Kushner. I heard Tony Kushner once say that any writer that tells you that they enjoy writing is a big fat liar. He says what we like is having written. And that's so true. I love going back and admiring what I've done and making it better and better and better. So, you know, I think one thing is my great love of and passion for revision, and I go back and back and back and back. Um, but also, I really think that tw 20 years of psychotherapy has given me a certain way of diving back into the past. You know, it's as if, I mean, imagine lying on the couch and the, the therapist, you know, asks you about your day. And so you gripe and you complain about your relationship with your boss or whatever it is that's gone on that day. And then there's a silence and then the therapist says, well, you know, does that kind of relationship or encounters that remind you of anything from your past? And you go, well, as a matter of fact, my boss really reminds me of my mother. And when I was 10 years old, and then you sort of tell this story, and then you return to the present, and you go back and forward and back and forward. And so I like to say that I write in a psychotherapeutic rhythm, because I go, you know, people have asked, and it's a really good question, because I have so many flashbacks, do I write the backstory and the forestory, and then cut them and paste them, but not at all? I write along, and then I just know when it's time to go back into the past. And another thing that's really, um, and it's, it really took a long time for me to realize this, that my more than 10 years of focusing on the life of a, of a visual artist, of being a painter, and I painted, you know, I was a naturalistic painter, so I, I painted portraits and I painted still lifes, and I, I painted narrative paintings that clearly wanted to be telling stories. Um, that looking at the world so closely has given me um, or left me with a love of putting the reader in a place. And I devote an enormous amount of energy. And this really is a pleasure for me. I would say that, you know, some people love writing dialogue best. Some actually love doing research best. I love making a place, you know, world building, I guess. Um, I love to put you in that Vermont farmhouse or put you in the middle of that blizzard in a dog sled or, um, or put you in that beautiful apartment that belongs to the music critic. And, and, and setting for me is something that, um, that often in itself takes me into the backstories of characters. Like when I, when I dreamed up that uh, case of trophies won over years of animal husbandry. So then I thought, well, okay, so did her sons... You know, yes, Zeke and his two brothers, as you, you will, there's a whole backstory involving Zeke and his two brothers, um, one of whom is killed in World War II. Uh, they showed cows. Um, but did the sons, did he bring up his sons, one of whom became a music critic and one of whom is a professor of gender studies at Berkeley? That was a fun one to also embellish. Uh, you know, did they? And then I sort of thought, well, what was their child? You know, what? so they did 4-H. And I will tell you that a lot of the 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 texture of the life of that dairy farm comes from, you know, my mother grew up on a very beautiful dairy farm in Wisconsin, which every, I mean, we, I grew up in Massachusetts, but every summer we, we went out for a period of time, and that was a very magical part of my childhood, and I brought that part of my memory, you know, to play here. So, so all these things come together to, to help me create extremely detailed worlds. And by the way, the book that I turn in to my editor every time is way too long. As I like to say, my final draft always has delusions of war and peace. And I have an editor who is brilliant at talking me down. But, you know, she doesn't go through and cut it herself. We, have, we usually have a long conversation in which, through talking to her, I understand what can go. Um, and, and in this case, I cut close to 200 pages from the manuscript that, um, that she saw. And, um, and it was actually, I ended up cutting a great deal from a single character's account. And, and that was different for me. But, um, but yes, so if anything, um, I, I sin in excess when it comes to backstory.